the West Midlands is the highest populated black community in Britain, more or less. And it's like the schools that I went to were like two thirds black and a third white. And the youth clubs and discos all we used to listen to was reggae, prime age of about three. And um, yeah, it was inevitable, I suppose. And there's two members of the specials that are black and five that are white. I mean, it's, it's just, it's just something that you're bred into or whatever. You know what I mean? It's not contrived or anything. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter what colour skin you are, how you dress. I mean, if, if you're into the same kind of things, then that's great. Some of your songs mention Rude Boys and the audiences at the gigs chant it at you. What does it mean exactly? Rude Boys was, it was like a cult thing in Jamaica in the mid-60s where people dressed really slick and they were like criminals, you know, it was like underground violence. But I mean, it was just a fashion. How did the two-tone label come about? Um, our first single, Gangsters, we wanted a label to look like, to put across this, the message of the song on it. So we designed him and um, that was basically it. That was a two-tone label, a little man. Well, basically, we want artistic control. Um, we want to stick out on our label what, what we want to stick out on our label, you know, relevant of what it is. There are a few bands and we all needed an identity. I mean, the music and the clothes, but I mean, with the label, it's, it's a stronger thing. It's, it's a whole movement. What's the future of the two-tone label? Do you ever see yourselves becoming a big record company? <coughs> Basically, it's just world domination. Too much, too young.